Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at using styles in pages. So here's an example pages document. Now we've got just some sample text in here. And in order to bring up styles, you want to go to View and Show Styles Drawer. It will pop out from one side of the window. And you can see there are paragraph styles, character styles, and list styles. Now, paragraph styles apply to the entire paragraph, while character styles can apply to a word, a series of characters, a sentence inside of a paragraph, and the styles, of course, apply to lists. Let's set a style here. Let's select this first line. I don't have to select the entire thing, I just put the cursor inside of it and set it to the title style. I'll do the same for down here for this title. Now you'll notice that the paragraphs in between are already set to body style here. You can see it highlighted. Now if I want to change some styles I can select some text here like this and I can go to the Fonts Inspector and select something different. So let's say I want to use Times here instead of Helvetica and now I can change it to that. Now I want to apply that style change to the entire style so all of the paragraphs set to body. So the way I can do that is a control click on body right here and I'll get a menu here that you can see. The first one is create new paragraph style from the selection, redefine the style from the selection, or revert to define style. Let's redefine the style from the selection. And you can see what happens here is the body style has changed so all of the other paragraphs set to body style have changed to match that one. Now let's do the same thing with character style. Say there were some words I want to point out here. I uh, will select a word and I will change just that word by bringing up the font inspector here and I'll change that to be bolded and I'll make it a slightly larger font as well. So what I want to do is I want to create a character style from this. I will use this little pop-up menu here and the first one is create new paragraph style. The second one is create new character style. I'll select that and I'll name it um, special words. And you can see it's added it there. Now I can select another word somewhere in here and mark that as special words. And the great thing is of course I can change one of them here. So I'll select this one and I will change it to be italicized and then I will control click and I will redefine the style from the selection and you can see it also changes it down here. Another cool thing I can do is I can select everything that has a certain style. So I want to select all of the words that are special words. I can control click here on special words and select all uses of special words and you can see I've got them all selected there as well. So now I can do different things with playing with the styles of just that selection. I can do the same thing with paragraphs here. I can go and control click on title and select all uses of title. I can also, as you can see, uh, rename the style. I can delete it or I can assign a hotkey and it goes right off the screen here but it's the F keys uh, to the right that I can assign to any of these styles F1 through 8. So there's a quick look at using styles and pages. One of the best things I like about this is I can just go ahead and create a document and I have to worry about exactly what font types I'm going to be using. I just define styles for things that make sense like titles and different types of paragraphs and then when I'm done I can use these styles to play around with the look of the fonts and change the entire document at once. Hope you found this useful. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.